Do you miss your favorite coffee shop? Do you miss traveling? We do, and we don't want the spirit of coffee trip to die. So we ask our friends, content creators, and coffee YouTubers from all around the world to help us with this video. It's Alex from European Coffee Trip, and right now we will take you to nine specialty coffee shops in nine countries on four continents. You will see Paris, San Diego, Budapest, Perth, Chiang Mai, and much more. As far as we know, it's the biggest collab of coffee YouTubers ever. So enjoy. So we ask everybody to visit one coffee shop in the area they live. Here in Brno, we picked the coffee shop we added to our guys' latest. It's called Chleba, which literally means bread. It's the first craft bakery with specialty coffee here in the city. So check it out. Today, 25th of May 2020, is the first day since the arrival of COVID-19 restrictions in our country that we can be in the streets without the face masks and cafes, restaurants and pubs can open their inner space for their guests. <laughs> After almost a year of baking and selling bread, they finally opened also a coffee shop. cappuccino, cappuccino as well. We just finished our cappuccino here at Chleba. They use a coffee from Nordin, from north of Czech Republic. It was Colombian coffee was processed, it was really good, especially because we had uh, also low packing. Besides coffee and bread, they sell also local quality products like natural wine, local honey or nut butter. We also tasted a new lemonade from Brno's legendary street food car, Puche. Okay, so that was Chleba in Brno Czech Republic, now we continue to another city. How's it going, coffee nerds? I'm Brody from the Nomad Barista, and I live in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Today, I'm gonna to take you to one of my favorite coffee shops and also one of the first specialty coffee shops here in Hamilton. It's called The Canon. Let's go check it out. So, the Canon is one of the first specialty coffee shops here in Hamilton. They actually just celebrated their eight year anniversary. And a funny story about how, you know, in the very, very beginning of this shop, they actually opened without a business license. So, instead of selling coffee, they were giving it away for donation. I don't know how long that lasted. <laughs> Probably not very long in the very beginning, but what they do is every anniversary they honor this tradition of giving away food for free and then getting donations and then donating those donations to a local charity. So it's a really, really central community hub here in the east end of Hamilton. This is normally a bustling restaurant brunch place, but right now we're only allowed to have uh, three people in the shop at one given moment. So the pandemic has, has had this type of effect on the coffee shops in Hamilton and also the rest of Canada, but each province has its own rules. So here in Hamilton, there are some shops that are open uh, for takeout, of course, and they're hopefully gonna be opening up more again soon in the future. Yeah, it's, it's definitely one of my favorite shops in town just for the, you know, the sheer pure vibes that they have here. But for now, I'm Brody, over now. Hi guys, I'm Sebastian, I live in Paris and I'm a true coffee lover. So today I show you one of my favorite coffee shops in town. Let's go. Okay, it's just behind me. The name of the place, Grounded. For now, in France, we are not yet out this virus crisis. So bars, restaurants and coffee shops are not allowed to welcome the customers as usual. Some try to survive by offering a takeaway only, but it's very difficult because takeaway is not in the French culture. I particularly like this place because this is the very first vegan coffee shop in France. 
They serve coffee from different countries, different rosters, not only French, and it's good because this is the occasion to discover a lot of flavor we don't have yet. It. All the food and pastry are homemade, fresh, with mostly organic products, and it's amazing. It tastes so good. This one is a famous cinnamon bun. I love it. Today I ordered filter coffee, simple. It's a natural process coffee from Rwanda and uh, it's from a Belgian roster, Mock, from Brussels. Very good roster for me. Well, I hope the visit of Grandad made you want to discover this place. This is my favorite coffee shop in Paris, where it's always good to stay. So, bye bye. Hey everyone, I'm Zinan from Coffee Something and today I'm going to have the first coffee after the COVID-19 lockdown. I live in Siegen, it's in Germany. I'm going to have this at the um, Röstwelt Roastery. Come with me! So now I'm at the Röstwelt. I don't know if they are open yet, but there is some movement inside and um, yeah, let's go! Now I have this amazing drink that's uh, lime, ice, water and espresso and mint. Let's give it a try. The thing is really nice by the way. It's like a caipirinha without alcohol and with coffee. So I completely forgot to ask what coffee is inside. It's, um, but I think it's the house blend espresso which is what's called um, Bottega. It's a classical blend. So the shop was founded in 2011 by Karen and Holger and uh, this is why I love it because the two are amazing people, really friendly and um, yeah, they are not that light roast dish. Due to the region where I live there is uh, specialty coffee and light roast is not that known. So uh, they find kind of nice way to get the people to the specialty coffee here and uh, this is why I like it. I'm sitting outside now because of the uh, COVID-19 thing. The coffee shops are open again, but not full functional, but so there has to be a little bit distance. So this is why just two tables are outside here in this uh, little garden. Another two are in front of the door. The uh, Karen told me that uh, the shop is running very well. People are coming, you know, grabbing bags of coffee. Things are going well and uh, we can enjoy coffee. Mm. <sighs> hey ho, let's go. Bye. What's up everyone? This is Asa, otherwise known as The Real Prometheus, and today we're in sunny San Diego and I'm gonna go grab some coffee. So I've got my mask, let's roll. All right, now that I'm safely in my car and away from other people, I want to talk a little bit about how COVID-19 has affected the San Diego coffee community. I mean, the coffee community as a whole has been pretty affected by it, but here lots of layoffs have happened. Uh, people have basically shut their doors either temporarily or permanently recently. Uh, lots of places obviously have switched to a delivery role. Where we went today, Lofty Coffee, they actually switched to a delivery role. They deliver a lot of their fresh baked goods and juices. So the reason I decided to come to Lofty today is because I have such a great connection with the people and the company at Lofty. Uh, Siri, who's the director of coffee and the head roaster, has been a good friend of mine for the last three to four years since I've been in San Diego. She's been one of these coffee people that's been inspiring and helpful along the way. Uh, she also roasts great coffee. The gentleman who made my coffee today, his name is Joey. He's also her assistant roaster. So it's just a really tight knit group of people. I pretty much know everybody who works here at the roastery location. So it's just a nice place to be. Friendly faces, great coffee. You can't really beat it. I decided on this uh, single origin Guatemala because it's just a little bit more chilly this morning than what I'm used to. I'm not used to getting up this early lately. So I got up, it was like 60 degrees, which to me is cold because I live in San Diego. And I figured, you know, snag a nice pour over even though it's not my general go-to. Uh, but I don't regret it. Well, as I sip on the last bit of this Guatemalan pour over, I'm gonna sign off. Thanks for coming along with me on this adventure out of my apartment. It's something I haven't done in 
quite some time. And um, yeah, as always, stay caffeinated, pony boy. Hello, I'm Essa Christensen from the Coffee Chronicle. And uh, right now I'm going to take you to one of my favorite coffee shops in Chiang Mai. It's called uh, Base Coffee. I haven't been there for a while, so let's go and check it out. Sitting here at the base coffee shop in uh, Chiang Mai. The reason I uh, really like this coffee shop is that uh, they really take the Puo coffee seriously. So actually, there's no espresso in this coffee shop. It's mostly local beans, really good Thai coffees, and then manual Puo over. At the moment, I'm drinking this bean here which is from a mountain called Doi Chang in a region uh, close to Chiang Mai. This particular coffee here is uh, very fermented, has like uh, some nice blueberry flavors, tastes super clean. Another cool thing about this place is that they also have a very nice food menu. So they do uh, salads, some of the best, best wraps here. At the moment, the coffee shop here is not really up to full speed after the COVID-19 uh, pandemic has hit the local community really hard, which uh, obviously relies a lot on uh, tourism. A lot of local coffee shops have had to close down or only do takeaway. And at the moment, they're kind of like starting to reopen, but uh, there are a lot of restrictions uh, with regards to cleaning and like social distancing. One thing that they've done here is they give out free meals. So that's also been a way to keep on a lot of the staff is that they take donations and then they cook free meals so that people in need can come and take every day. And in fact, they, they've been giving away 20,000 meals so far during the pandemic, which is uh, pretty incredible. Okay, that's it for the coffee shop here. Bye bye. Hey, it's Anna from Coffeeness.de, coffee blog I started already in 2008. And right now we're here in Limassol and we will visit my favorite coffee roastery and coffee shop, Tribe Coffee, and just follow me. Good news first, most coffee shops and restaurants are open again, what is pretty good for uh, people and industry here, of course. And right now the inside areas are still closed, so we only can get a coffee for takeaway. As always, safety first. <laughs> Bit more than expected. I always like to drink coffee in places where they also roast the coffee. So that's always a good recommendation. Just a nice espresso in a roastery. And that's exactly what we do here now. That's a great espresso. It looks good, smells good and tastes good. And I even managed to get a real cup. <laughs> it's not easy these days. And see you next time. Hey everyone, it's Gary here from Coffee Fusion and I live in Perth, which is in Western Australia. Now we've been pretty fortunate here in Australia compared to a lot of friends around the world when it comes to coronavirus. Things didn't get too crazily out of hand. Uh, we had plenty of restrictions in it early. We stopped international travel. And as things progressed a couple of months ago, uh, the government shut down things pretty dramatically in order to get people to stay home and flatten the curve. As of last week, cafes were allowed to start doing dine-in again but only a maximum of 20 patrons, and you could only have one patron per four meters squared to keep everyone spread out. But in Western Australia, where I'm from, we actually currently only have two active cases, so things are getting back to normal fairly quickly. I decided to go out and catch up with my friend Midu, who owns a little shop called Cinnamon. Uh, they specialize in selling cinnamon buns and uh, making coffee, of course. He's actually been closed for most of the restrictions. Uh, he thought that it was best to kind of stay home and uh, encourage other people to stay home and help flatten the curve. But he's just started up in the last couple of weeks. He gave me this really nice espresso and also gave me one of the buns that he's been working on uh, while Corona has been going on. And I really look forward to seeing him more and all of my other coffee friends more now that the restrictions in our state are starting to ease. In the meantime, I've been working really hard to uh, create this six week home barista bootcamp uh, for those of you who are staying at home during the corona outbreak 
So after you've finished watching the rest of this collab with my coffee friends all around the world, come and check it out on the Coffee Fusion YouTube channel. Keep frothing. Hey guys, it's Norby from Bini. I'm here in Budapest and I, I got the mission from Alessian Radek to show you our favorite coffee shop in the city, which is... The Rando Cafe is located in the heart of Budapest. The owners, Emesha and Mario, opened in 2018 and they're still working hard behind the bar for you to make your favorite cafe every day. But why the Rando Cafe is our favorite? Just look around. The place is beautiful. The owners and the staff are friendly and you can have a good laugh with them as well. You also can have a pretty satisfying conversation about coffee. They are using coffees from local roasters like Casino Mocha. Today I drank a great espresso called Mugrian Peke from Burundi, sweet like raisin and was a slightly acidic like raspberry. Okay. Fiasco. So that was Dorado Cafe, our favorite coffee shop in Budapest. Hope you enjoyed it. See you guys. Thank you guys for watching, I hope that you will be able to travel and visit your favorite coffee shop very very soon. I would like to thank to our friends who help us to make this video, so if you didn't know them before please subscribe to their channel and maybe you can subscribe also to this channel if you haven't done it yet and I would love to see you very soon in our next video. Thank you, bye bye.